Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. Just sitting here having a mug of orange juice with some vitamin C powder inside of it. And um, just wanted to cover a few things. I've been wanting to cover some of this stuff for a while now and just haven't had time. Got a lot of emails coming in, which is great. Which is great because most of them are JWs waking up. So if I miss any of your emails, I apologize. You know, I've got a lot of urgent ones coming in. And I know many of you are wanting to talk to us on the phone and Skype. So apologize. Um, now, Ben, if you're watching, I don't remember what your email is. And I only have one Ben in my contact list. But the bin that was looking for a copy of the Gentile Times Reconsidered, um, I found an older copy back in my <laughs> room where all my totes full of stuff are. So just email me. I did come across that one. Um, also, oh my goodness, so much. There was an announcement, October 1st, 2020. For special full-time servants in the field in the United States branch territory, necessary personal needs. It is preferred that you and your mate, if married, continue to care for your personal needs yourself. To assist you with hair care, a series of instructional videos are available on JW.org. Now, I tried doing a search and I couldn't find it. Um, I always have difficulty finding anything on JW.org. You know, they always brag out in the field. Oh, just go to JW.org with any questions you have. Their search engine sucks because you put in like a keyword or a couple of words and thousands of things come up just because it has that one little word in it. And it has nothing to do with what you're searching for. So it's one of like the worst websites I've ever, it's right up there with New Mexico's Game and Fish. That's another website that is just so difficult to use because you can never find what you're looking for. And I can see why Watchtower is wanting some computer experts that are, you know, familiar with um, server design and software and all of that because they need a serious update with their website. You can't find anything you're looking for. I digress. <laughs> Kimmy's ranting this morning. So anyway, I tried to find any of these videos and couldn't find. I tried personal needs, personal care, haircut, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And nothing came up. Um, you may arrange for a publisher to come to your home in order to cut or style your hair, provide chiropractic, podiatric, or wound care, etc. For your safety, please follow the attached guidelines for you and for your care providers. Now, when I first read this, it's like, what? Okay, provide chiropractic. You do know in this country you need a certified license to practice chiropractic procedures. Right, Watchtower? Oh, you're above the law. I wonder how the authorities and the chiropractic board would feel about finding out your instruction instructing your members to go give each other chiropractic I mean that is a lawsuit just waiting to happen and podiatric care do you really want to go and be working on you know, a pioneer's feet if they have like an ingrown toenail or something like that. Podiatry is also something that has to be a licensed doctor. 
and wound care. So you cut yourself and you have someone who's untrained? Really? So what now? If you have like a 911 emergency, you're going to call them instead of 911 to get an EMT? Wow. There was just so many things wrong with that that I just... Oh. Hence the rant. Okay, so then they sent the personal service guidelines. All necessary services should be arranged by appointment. Those present should be limited to the minimum necessary. Neither the special full-time servant nor the care provider may be sick or have been exposed to COVID-19 in the past 14 days. Thing is, is you don't know until it's too late. You know, I did a supply run yesterday. Yes, I was wearing my mask. But how many people in those grocery stores and stuff that I went to were actually COVID positive, but they don't know it yet. They're fine. <laughs> Prior to the visit, all who will be present should take their temperature and cancel the arrangements if any have a temperature above 99.5. All must wash and disinfect their hands immediately before and after the service. All must wear acceptable face coverings which cover the nose and mouth. For those of us who have asthma, if we cover our nose and we're breathing in our own exhaled breath, guess what? It makes us dizzy and pass out. <laughs> no service that requires removing the face covering may be provided. The service provider must also wear a face shield or safety goggles in addition to a face covering. Why put someone in that danger then? All the equipment used, including chairs, tables, tools, smocks, etc., should be cleaned and disinfected before and after providing the service. Any person not receiving the service should maintain six feet physical distancing. The special full-time servant and the care provider should maintain a log of their daily contacts. No food or beverages should be shared and the care provider should leave immediately after finishing. If possible, the service should be provided in an outdoor or open air setting and the care provider should avoid entering the residence. In addition, all safety standards established by the secular authorities are to be followed. Well, have you heard? CDC has just announced that COVID is airborne and masks may not be and face shields should n may not be as effective as we all think. Now, I received an email the other day. Thank you very much, Dennis, because this goes along with what I just read. Now, I know this story is from several years ago. But I want you to be thinking about what I just read and how they're wanting, you know, JW members to help take care of the special pioneers. About six years ago, after the Sunday meeting while standing in the car park, Eunice, his wife, overheard Miss X. Now, this is in the Kingdom Hall parking lot. In her 40s, being advised by a brother in his 60s. The woman had been bleeding for some time. He advised her several times over the weeks to go home, lay on her back with her feet up on the wall until it stopped. Do you see what happens when untrained, I'm assuming this was an elder, See what happens when untrained JWs are giving medical advice and even health, you know, med mental health advice? Wow. After they parted, Eunice, his wife, approached Miss X and told her to go to a doctor who would refer her to a gynecologist. Her answer was, what's that? Really? A woman in her 40s doesn't know what a gynecologist is? Now this is what that brother should have advised her. 
Go see a doctor. If you're bleeding, go see a doctor. No matter what the society says about in the new system, they're not going to need doctors. Good video, Jane Doe. She did take the advice and had a hysterectomy within the week. See? How many weeks was she going bleeding that if somebody would have just given her good advice to go see a real doctor, go home and put your feet up against a wall until the bleeding stops? What if this woman would have bled to death? And as it was, she needed a hysterectomy. Wow. Wow. So much for putting trust in these monkeys. I totally agree. Totally agree. Um, he also goes to say, we know of a JW who has become an elder at 21 years old. 21 years old. Like he says, what life experience would he have? They are desperately short of anyone to take on responsibility. 21 years old. Can you imagine going to someone, a kid? Yeah, he may be an adult legally, but he's still a kid for us older ones. Can you imagine going to a kid with anything important? Oh. This just gets to the point of being ludicrous. All right. Now, there was also some more announcements. Um, looks like it's going to be coming out here pretty soon. It's not out quite yet. Good thing we get these early. For the congregations, donations and support of kingdom interests worldwide. We express heartfelt gratitude for your ongoing generous support of Kingdom Interests. Despite the unique challenges and circumstances you have experienced during the past year, your gift in hand for Jehovah served as a shout of praise to His name. Your self-sacrificing generosity brings great joy to our God. Now we've heard from Pimos that donations are actually down quite a bit and that they're very concerned. At least the elders at the local level are very concerned because they're not able to maintain, um, you know, utilities and upkeep of the kingdom halls and send Watchtower what they're supposed to send. Um, the widespread effects of the COVID-19 pandemic have touched all of us. <laughs> yeah. Not the higher-ups of Watchtower. Many of us suffered the direct ill effects of the virus or lost loved ones in death. Physical distancing requirements restricted our house-to-house -house and public ministry, our use of kingdom halls, and our close physical association with one another. Many lost jobs and income as the pandemic had impact locally and on the global economy. Yet you were determined to provide your gift to Jehovah. Of course, during this time, contribution box and kingdom halls have not been accessible. Yeah, but I've heard elders will show up at your house and ask for one. Therefore, you took advantage of other options. Yes, they did. <laughs> Many of you began donating electronically. Yep, and the elders were all too happy to come and show you how to do that. Where electronic donations are not available, you worked with your local elders to make your donations while maintaining social distancing. Oh yeah. Your efforts to contribute are very much appreciated. As noted in the JW article series, how your donations are used, much was accomplished. For example, some of your contributions help to pay for video conferencing subscriptions. And if I remember the um, article that was on JW.org, it was something like 65,000 or 85,000 premium accounts of Zoom that they paid for. This allowed congregations, many of whom, of whom would not have been able to afford the service, to continue meeting together during the pandemic. Your generous gifts also supported the translation of our 2020 Always Rejoice Regional Convention into over 400 languages. Why do they need money, your donations, to do that? 
Isn't that what their remote translating offices that they spent over a million dollars on, were, wasn't that what those were for? It is JW volunteers translating these? So why would it cost? You already have the video. Get them to translate it. You've got your own video editing team. This didn't cost you anything. <sighs> what a cause for joy it was to be gathered globally to enjoy the convention as a united brotherhood did during July and August. While current conditions require endurance, nothing can disrupt the unity and joy of our worldwide brotherhood, and nothing has impeded your generosity in supporting the worldwide work. Isn't that wonderful for them? Isn't that nice? Nothing has impeded their donations. <sighs> we love you all very much and pray for you every day. <laughs> That's a first. May Jehovah continue to bless your generous spirit, strengthen you, and comfort you as faithfully await his deliverance at the end of this system of things. Which is soon. Armageddon's right there. And then the announcement for coordinators of the body of elders. Donations and support of kingdom interests worldwide. Please arrange for the announcement for congregations to be read to the congregation at the Life and Ministry meeting for the week of November 9th, 2020, during the part, The Value of Two Small Coins. So we're actually getting this letter a couple of weeks in advance. Oh, good Lord. Um, now, I also have an email. Thank you, sweetie. I'm not going to mention his name or what state he is in. He says, just watch your latest food box video. I have personally delivered these food boxes. I am not a baptized witness nor an unbaptized publisher. I simply volunteered like a good Samaritan would. I have done it twice. My wife is a baptized publisher, however. So this is a husband of a baptized Jehovah Witness. He's not baptized. He's not even an unbaptized publisher, and he was being used to deliver these food boxes. I can personally attest to the homes I have delivered to where they explicitly said, I don't need this. And no rank and file JWs don't have a clue where this is really coming from. However, when I asked the elder in charge of this distribution, he did say farmers to families. I doubt, however, he knew much beyond that. If it will help your activism, I would be happy to get a video of the homes where I have dropped these boxes. Let the public decide. We appreciate the offer. We don't need video because we're hearing a lot of this. You know, that they say, I don't need this. Give it to someone else who may. Um, if there's any food left over and stuff, they don't take it to like the women's shelter or any place like that. No. Now I want to thank the viewer very much. I'm not going to say your name in case you're a PIMO. Um, who sent me the link to JehovahWitness.com topic about the Watchtower study. God can lie and promotes lying prophets. Now, as a Jehovah Witness, I always believed that Jehovah, you know, the alleged Almighty God, and Jesus could not lie. That they were the epitome of perfection and would not lie. Imagine to learn that there are several cases of this in the Bible. And that's why I have an issue with that book. You know, yes, I do believe in a higher source, an almighty source of all, whatever you want to call him. I do believe in him. But this book, this book, is it from him? I seriously have doubts. And I know many of you are newly out, and these type of videos, you know, may upset you. But this is in the Watchtower study, and this is study number 32, which 
was this past week, I believe. And the name of the article is Walk Humbly and Modesty, Modestly with Your God. And we're going to go to paragraph 7 on page 10. And the person that posted this on JWN, JWN and the person that sent this to me thought this was important. I'm going to read paragraph 7. The Bible indicates that Jehovah is interested in the opinion, opinions of his angelic sons. Parents, how can you imitate Jehovah's example? You want to see what example they have here listed? It's 1 Kings 22, 19 through 22. Now I'm going to be using my large print reference edition because that's the one I like to use when doing videos. Not only is it what Jehovah's Witnesses are familiar with, but I love the footnotes. There's so much to glean from the footnotes. Unfortunately, this particular one doesn't have any footnotes unless you go to a couple of verses before this. And it's interesting because when I'm going to go to the verse before the one Watchtower has quoted, because they say 19 to 22. Well, I'm going to go read verse 18. It's 1 Kings 22, 18. Then the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, Did I not say to you, now there's quotation, a quote within his quote. This is the quote. He will prophesy concerning me not good things, but bad. So that was a quote in what the king of Israel is saying to Jehoshaphat. So who said that? Well, it goes on. And this is the verse Watchtower starts with. Verse 19. And he went on to say, Therefore, hear the word of Jehovah. Now, after it says, and he went on to say, there's quotation marks. And many of us are starting to pay attention to these quotation marks now. So, king of Israel is quoting somebody else. Therefore, hear the word of Jehovah. I certainly see Jehovah sitting upon his throne and all the army of heaven standing by him, to his right and to his left. And Jehovah proceeded to say, another quotation marks within the quote, Who will fool Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? End of quote. And this one began to say something like this, while that one was saying something like that. Finally, a spirit came out and st stood before Jehovah and said, I myself shall fool him. Now that was a quote. At that, Jehovah said to him, quote, By what means? End of quote. To this he said, quote, I shall go forth, and I shall certainly become a deceptive spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. End of quote. So he said, quote, You will fool him, and what is more, you will come off the winner. So you're going to go lie to him, and you're going to come off the winner. Go out and do that way. End of quote. So Jehovah just told one of his angels to go out and lie to the prophets, and you're going to win. And now here Jehovah has put a deceptive spirit into the mouth of all these prophets of yours. But Jehovah himself has spoken calamity concerning you. End of King of Israel's quote. Wow. Wow. So that's the example Watchtower uses about, let's see, what's the word they use? Parents. How can you imitate Jehovah's example? If you imitate that example in 1 Kings, you're going to give the okay, the authorization, you're going to condone going out and lying to somebody. So that's the example of Jehovah's humility. No, that's an example of what your God Jehovah really is. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit of mischief, in my humble opinion. 
Now I'm just going to read some comments here from this person that emailed me this. True, various methods suggested might have been entertained, but in the end it was Jehovah who gave the command to launch the false prophecy campaign. You're absolutely right. This is a watchtower mind control tactic to plant in the rank and file the idea that it is okay to be a false prophet. Nowadays, you know, these um, PR guys and Paul Gillies, you know, when they testify, it's theocratic warfare. It's okay to lie and be a deceptive spirit. That is watchtower control tactic to plant in the rank and file the idea that it is okay to be a false prophet. Just like the Jonah dilemma to preach destruction with a deadline, only to see an all foreknowing God waffle on him. And Jesus did not foretell the timing of the end, for only the Father knows. But Watchtower Inc. writers have no such qualms or humility. Watchtower writers, elders should be prepared to have their actions questioned. It has happened with justification to better persons than them. Exactly. Exactly. So, anyway, that's all I have right now. And yes, Mike and I are still working on um, a couple of different videos that we have. Um, we have just been really busy lately. And we still have a little bit of research to do. But we want to thank everybody so much for sending us your research and your help and links and articles and all this information that goes along with these things we appreciate it very much so you all have a wonderful day take care bye